Hello everyone, welcome to Center Stack. And in today's session, I'm going to be going over the distributed file locking feature within the Center Stacks platform. We're logged in as a tenant admin, and by default, we are in the cluster manager. From the top menu option, we're going to select default, manage default tenant. And from the top left, we're going to toggle the menu to access the manage consoles menu. I'm going to select group policy, client control, and file locking. This is where our feature enabled distributed file locking is located. As you could see, it is enabled by default and when it's set, the file will be locked when accessed. This will prevent multiple users editing the same file at the same times and this may not take effect if the application used to access the file does not support locking. I'm going to select my files to go into the root of the web portal and our admin has published an HR folder as a team folder and it's published to user 1 and user 2 with read and write permission. I'm going to go into our Windows client machine and on Windows Client Machine 1, we're logged in as user 1. And here you could see user 1 can see the HR team folder. And on Windows Client 2 machine, I'm logged in as user 2. And this user can also access the HR team folder. As user 1, I'm going to go ahead and open the project's file inside the HR team folder. And I'm going to try to open the same file from Windows Client Machine 2 as a user 2. I'm going to open the project's file to edit and I get this message that this file is locked and this file is being edited by user 1 and it says do you want to continue I'm going to select yes and I'm trying to edit to make changes and I am unable to edit anything so this becomes like a read only and I'm going to go ahead and close the file and I'm going to go back as a user one and I'm going to close the file. Now, since the file is closed on both machines, I'm going to go back to machine two where I'm logged in as user two. And now I open the file. I do not get the message and I'm going to make changes. I'm able to edit the file. I'm able to save the file and I'm going to close it and I'm going to try to open it from Windows client machine one to see if the changes have been made successfully and saved successfully. And when I open it, I do see the changes that I've made. And I'm going to close it. I'm going to go to my web portal. And this is how the distributed file locking feature works. Thank you.